Hello, this is Diane Olive Brown from Newburgh, Indiana, and I'm making uh, part three of my uh, putting on the armor of God, and it is April 7th at 422 in the afternoon. So let's get started on page three of putting your armor on. Faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Love never fails, never fades away, never comes to an end, and never becomes obsolete. Our confessions rule us. Therefore, we have a good confession. And this confession is from the worshiper David Engels. I have a lot of his uh, music albums, and his songs are all word-based. I'm healthy, I'm prosperous. My soul prospers in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus, even Jesus the Word. Everything I set my hand to is successful. I cannot be conquered, I cannot be defeated. I'm a stranger to failure. For me to fail, God would have to fail, and God cannot fail, therefore I cannot fail. The greater one indwells me, and he puts me over. I have his ability. That's what I have. That's who I am. Over all the armor, I put a garment of praise that removes the spirit of heaviness and the garment of humility, because God says he shall in no wise cast out a humble and a contrite heart. And I put on the yoke of Jesus, because Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly of heart, and my yoke is easy and my burden is light, and you shall find rest for your souls. The yoke of Jesus is the only yoke I wear. Holy Spirit, teach me how to take the yoke of Jesus upon myself. I refuse all other yokes. So when I put on the armor of God, I also clothe myself with a gentle and a quiet spirit, which is in my dearest heavenly Father's sight as very precious. And do not forget, there is much more than meets the eye. And also do not forget the purpose of the armor of God. It is prayer armor. So, shalom, shalom.